Hey everybody, what we got going on today? Well, is uh, a new grinder. The last grinder was just about to go, so I decided to pick something up. This is not a paid promotion by any means. I went out and bought this grinder with my own money. Uh, the one I did chose was an LEM, so I'm gonna give you a, a bit of a review and give you all the details of what I know about it and what it comes with and what we're gonna find out about it. Okay, so I was looking for a grinder for a little while. My other grinder, my home grinder, was just about to go and I needed to replace it with something. So I started doing some research and what was important to me. I'm not loyal to any brand by any means. Uh, pretty much I was looking for accessories and warranty and customer reviews and I decided to go with this one. Another key feature which I really liked about this was it was stainless steel. It had metal gears. The last grinder I had had plastic gears. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. If you're going to go look for a grinder, uh, get something with metal gears. I highly recommend it. It doesn't have to be as big as this. Get something whatever you can afford and whatever you're going to be using it for. So if you're not doing a lot of grinding or a lot of production, there's a lower model on here. And uh, I'm sure they work just as good as this one. I do a lot of grinding, so this is going to work for my needs. All right, so let's get started. So what this is, is an LEM one and a half horsepower number 32 meat grinder. And it comes with a whole bunch of accessories. It comes with uh, stuffing tubes, it comes with a stuffing plate, it comes with a uh, 10 mil grinding plate, a four and a half mil grinding plate as well. It comes with a stomper, the blade, the auger, and the unit. And of course, it comes with a big tray. Now, LEM also did have a dual grind attachment as well for this one, but it didn't come in for the size, the one and a half horse. They do have it for the one horse uh, number 22 grinder. So what I was thinking about, maybe even getting it at a later uh, date and see how it works and compare it to what we have going on over here. One of the cool features that I really like about this thing is it has a little accessory tray. It pops out, you can put your, your plates in there, you can put a few accessories in there if you want. To me, that's... Uh, Pretty handy, considering I don't want things flying around or getting banged up, so to me, I like this one. All right, to properly assemble the grinder head, what you wanna do is, actually what I like to do is basically take the head, I like to smear some fat in there or some like cold meat, this way it lubricates a little bit. You can get a food grade spray that you can spray in there. Um, I don't think it's really that necessary. People also freeze these up. I don't find any uh, any difference in it, but if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. So we're just going to go go on with this. And uh, what I like to do is basically I let I want to take the auger, put it on the ninety right here. This way, it's not banging up. And you're just going to find a seat right there, so it's sitting flush right down there. And from there, you're going to take the the blade, plop it in. You're going to take the plate. Plop it in there too. There's a little notch there. You want to make sure that's sitting flush. Okay. And then you're going to take the nut, basically put her on there. You don't want to over tighten it by any means. And once it's snug, that's that's pretty much it. You don't want to reef on it by any means. Uh, if you start noticing that you're getting some type of like gray metallic or black metallic in your meat, that probably means that this grinding head, uh, the nut is a little bit too tight. Just back it off just a little bit. All right, to attach the grinder head, what you want to do is basically just grab it, stick it in there gently. Now, there is a notch there. So what you want to do is just basically rock it back and forth and uh, there's a little nut here on the side, just slowly tighten it up. And as soon as it sits perfectly like that, you're good to go. You don't need to refund it by any means. It'll be good that way. Okay, what we're going to do now is just attach the meat pan to the top of the grinder head. And it sits flush there. And make sure it's sitting good. There's a little, there's a little clip over here that attaches to the handle. And that's pretty much it. All right, this is what I'm talking about, taking a little bit of fat, pork fat, and uh, basically just running it around the grinder from the inside. I didn't realize that I was doing this today, but uh, I totally forgot that I had some pork shoulder that I wanted to grind up just to try this product out. So I basically just smear it all over the place. I'll take the, the grinding plate and rub it up around there too, and both sides. You know, it is metal and metal pretty much, and I'll just take the, the blade a little bit and just just smudge it a little bit like this. And then from there, I'll, I'll assemble it and then we'll start grinding. Okay, I also have about two kilos of uh, pork shoulder that we're gonna grind up right now. We're gonna bring it through, grind it up through a 10 mil plate and then a four and a half mil plate and uh, hopefully it's everything we hope for. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically feed in a little bit of the pork 
and uh, just turn it on for a split second and keep feeding uh, a little bit more few a few more pieces better get this going over here or we're gonna have a mess uh, what I have noticed is really quiet it sounds really good so I'm just gonna keep uh, dumping some more pieces in there just until we get started there we go look at that so we're just gonna go ahead and feed the whole unit right now And there you have it, pretty good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna unplug it for safety reasons. I'm gonna take this plate off and I'm gonna regrind it with the four and a half mil plate. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this back in this meat pan. There we go. Let's see how the second grind works. Dump some in there, where's that stomper? There we go. Oh, got to plug it in. And there you have it. This thing's ice cold. Nice grind. It was pretty quick, not as noisy. I like it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. This way I can keep you more informed about uh, what I like about this grinder, what I don't like about it, all the drawbacks, and uh, all the fun things that we're going to make with this. All right, to show you all the functions of this meat grinder, it did come with some stuffing tubes. So what we're going to do is come up with a little garlic sausage recipe, nothing too crazy or anything like that. We're going to so uh, stuff the sausages with these tubes. We're going to use 2932 collagen casings for the ingredients. All we've got is some salt, some white pepper, some black pepper, some coriander, garlic powder, and some soy protein binder. All right, to use the stuffing tube, all you want to do is put the stuffing plate on. I'll line up that little notch with the bottom of it. Put the stuffing tube like this. Remember not to over tighten this by any means. All right, and then from there, we're just gonna add our casings. Kosher salt. White pepper. Black pepper. Coriander, garlic powder, binder, add water, There you have it. This is the consistency that you're looking for. All right, what we're using today is 2932 millimeter natural hog casings. Just scoop some water in here.
All right, let's load up this grinder. All right, let's give this a shot. So what I'm gonna do is basically just take a little bit of a log and uh, put it down the throat, turn her on. This is where a foot pedal really comes in handy. All right, and there you have it. It's all stuffed up right now. Um, if you want my honest opinion, I'm not really impressed with it. It just takes so, so long. I'd rather stay to my dedicated sausage stuffer. It does a far better job. It's a lot quicker, and I think I have more control over that than this. This thing, if you're in a jam, I'm sure it will do a great job, but it's just so slow. But you be the judge of it. I guess it's just a learning curve for everybody. And there you have it, LEM Big Bite number 32, one and a half horsepower meat grinder. What can I say? It's a beast. One of the main reasons why I did pick this is uh, over the other ones actually is because the attachments. I like making pasta and sauces and stuff, a juicer attachment for this as well. Uh, there's also a jerky attachment. There's foot pedals. I know other ones have foot pedals as well for it. But uh, that was my main, main reason was um, the accessories for it and the warranty was pretty good too. So if you're looking for a meat grinder, I would recommend something like this. It's pretty good. Uh, you don't have to get anything this big. You can. There's other smaller ones like a number 12, number 22 works just as great. I just produce a lot of meat and, uh, well, for me, this works for my needs. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Wouldn't want you to miss any of my new and upcoming videos. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy.